I'm still thinking. What with? Bobby, what do you think of this? He has to write an essay for Mr. Bishop. Pathetic. What would you know? I've done all this stuff, and I only came in the top 10% in the state for the HSC. Yeah? Well, how come you're working here, then? I got married, didn't I? In the midst of all the carnage, he realised the futility of gun warfare. Not bad, eh? Yeah, there's just one problem. You sure know you didn't want him. I did. Oh, OK. What well, does carnage mean? <laughs> Steve, if you're going to do his homework for him, don't use words more than one syllable. Yes, sir? Your essay, Brian. Thanks, sir. What'd you get? Wow, ten out of ten. Not bad. Oh, great. Good stuff. Don't be too quick to congratulate yourself. Read the comments. Good work, Stephen. In future, let Brian write his own essays. <laughs> well, that is the case, I take it? Yes, sir. Brian, I refuse to offer you extra coaching unless you're prepared to put in the extra effort also. Do I make myself clear? Yes, sir. What did you expect to gain by letting Stephen do the work for you anyway? Nothing, sir. And you, Stephen? What did you expect Brian to gain from it? Nothing, sir. In that case, I hope I've made my point. Yes, sir. What do you intend to do about it? Write my own essays from now on, sir. I should hope so. I had taken you for a boy who wanted to improve his prospects. I should hate to find out now that I'd made a serious error of judgment. Oh. And I might also add your handwriting and spelling are appalling. I should pay close attention to it in future. No, no, you type in the title, then you press enter. Where's enter? Bottom right. There you go. Now you're ready to start writing. Yeah, but a word processor's not going to help me do that, bud, is it? No, but at least Fisher will be able to read what you do right. <sighs> Big deal. What about my spelling? Well, for spelling, you'll have to use a dictionary. <sighs> yeah, sure thing. Well, why not? Well, you've got to know how to spell the word before you look it up, don't you? Well, not as long as you've got a rough idea. Anyway, you have to use one, because the school won't let us use spelling programs. What's that? Well, it's a program where if you type in a word that's incorrectly spelled, it tells you. Hey, I like the sound of that. Well, don't get too excited, because, like I said, we're not allowed to use them. Come on, let's get on with it. OK, fire away, teach. Press the function key. Right, that saves all the work you've done so far. What about the spelling check? Well, I'll show you that in a minute. Next, we've got to format our pages, or set margins and stuff like that. G'day. Hey. G'day. Let's go on the spelling check. So, you had a chance to mark my assignment yet? Yes. Yes, I have. For presentation, I've given you 10 out of 10. For content, I've given you 7 out of 10. And for spelling, I've given the computer 10 out of 10. What? Well, it's patently obvious the spelling's all perfect American. You won't learn anything by taking shortcuts. Well, I didn't think it was a shortcut. Well, you can't seriously expect to go through life with a computer at your side every day. I could get my hands on one most of the time. Brian, you're missing the point. The purpose of these assignments is to further your skill. If you're not prepared to make the effort, we're all wasting our time. I suppose. Well, in future, use the software you were born with. 